Hi, Rick. How are you? Well, good morning, or should I say good afternoon there in Barcelona from uh, Mobile World Congress and joined by Catherine Borda de Castro from Cox Communications. And, uh, Catherine, how's the, uh, the show been going? How's the vibe over in Barcelona? It is amazing. It is quite uh, electric. Uh, there is um, so much going on. Um, you know, it's it's there. It's it's pretty amazing, kind of the trends that we're seeing. So, uh, super excited to be here. Yeah, hundred thousand attendees and uh, things getting back to normal. And uh, some of the big trends we'll touch on them, Catherine. Uh, connectivity and convergence. Uh, what is uh, what does Cox Mobile have in store? So Cox Mobile uh, just launched beginning of this year uh, in the U.S. And so we're very quickly getting into the convergence space. Um, so convergence is about being able to bring together internet and mobile. Uh, at the beginning, what that's gonna look like for consumers is being able to have both plans and get a little bit more value out of those two plans. However, in the long term, and, and one of the main reasons why we're here is to learn more, is that you know we see the products themselves and the networks um, being integrated, and that's going to deliver you know seamless experiences um, beyond what consumers have now. So it's important for us to be here and and to kind of learn it um, you know uh, firsthand. Yeah, a lot of things potentially big for consumers and for those in the uh, in the enterprise space as well. Um, you touched on it, Catherine. Uh, after a few years of, uh, of, of not a lot of uh, changes in our, in our wireless devices, now we're seeing some, uh, some wireless device trends start to emerge. Absolutely, right? And I, I think you're kind of hinting at another really interesting trend that we're seeing here, I'm particularly very interested in, right, is metaverse. And um, we're seeing, you know, a lot of innovation in the types of kind of goggles uh, or glasses that are used so that you can experience the metaverse. And um, so those are all wireless devices, right? Not a phone, but still a wireless device. And the implications for what it's gonna do for consumers' lives is just, you know, I think absolutely, you know, fantastic, right? A consumer being able to, you know, shop in a very immersive way or, um, you know, maybe not hang on the phone for a care call, right? But be able to experience um, some, you know, an assistant being close by, right? So it all sounds very futuristic, but it, the future is much closer, right? Than, uh, than previously imagined. So again, we're just kind of getting to learn all of that, uh, you know, firsthand. So super important for us to be able to bring that experience um, and that innovation to our consumers. Yeah, we always hear at these shows, the future is now, and we're with uh, Catherine Borda de Castro of, uh, of Cox. And, uh, Catherine, you're, uh, you live back here in Atlanta. I'm in, uh, I'm in little Kennesaw. We've had good 5G here for a while, but uh, as Atlantans and, and those in the southeast travel, um, sometimes uh, getting good, great wireless service has been a challenge, and, uh, but you guys have been up to that challenge. Absolutely. So as I mentioned, we just launched Cox Mobile at the beginning of the year. And the reason that we did that, because, you know, you might say, well, there's a lot of mobile plans, you know, just about everyone you know might have a phone and, and a mobile plan. But what we really learned is that consumers feel frustrated in the category. It's hard to shop. They don't really understand the value of what they're getting. Um, and therefore, they may feel that they're overpaying. So we chose to build a super simple portfolio, two plans, Gig Unlimited at $45, pay as you gig at $15 per gig. And then going back to that convergence piece that we were just talking about, when consumers combine the two plans, the more that they use um, their Wi-Fi through their Cox Internet uh, plan, then the less data that they're using on a cellular perspective, right? And here sitting in Spain, consumers do that a lot. They do it a lot more than they do it in the U.S., right, which is rely on their Wi-Fi. The other thing that we'll get is, oh, well, my Wi-Fi might not be secure. If you're using a Cox Internet hotspot, it's going to be secure. It's going to be a way for you to be able to save on data and just be a savvy consumer. So we felt that bringing a super simplified plan where talk and text is included, 
there's no contract, and you can switch between those two plans at any time that you want. You don't have to go back to the store and sign a new contract, which again was another um, kind of frustration that we heard from consumers. So there, these plans seem really simple, but ultimately that's what we heard from consumers is just give me something simple where I can um, have something that's more affordable. There's nothing wrong with simple and a great value and uh, that peace of mind security from Cox. Uh, invite everyone to check out more information at cox.com. And uh, Catherine, uh, uh, any, anywhere else uh, people should go for more information or uh, what's the one, uh, the one bit of advice that you want uh, customers to take uh, from your experience there at the show? Yeah, well, um, cox.com backwards slash mobile is where they can find more information about our plans, our network, which we have an incredibly reliable network, um, and our services. And, you know, the one piece of advice that I would give to consumers is that just the way that you're savvy in other uh, categories in your life, you know, check out your, your, check out your bill. You know, how much are you really using? Do you really need as much as you think, right? Because that was something that we really learned for consumers. I, I would, um, I would bet that there are many of our consumers that could probably save a little bit more by using Cox Mobile. So that would kind of be my last bit of advice for them. That's great advice. And the Cox bill is easy to read. And uh, Catherine, safe travel. And we'll see you back in Atlanta. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.